Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and uh, I just want to talk about a game I really enjoy, Blue Stinger on the Dreamcast. So this video is really not going to be a review or why I enjoy the game. I'll give you a brief synopsis. Uh, you're on this island. It's like a survival horror action game. You're on this island and you're using tank controls to go around and pick up these coins and kill all of these monsters that are on this island called Dinosaur Island and uh, you've been shipwrecked there and you meet other characters and have to solve puzzles kinda like Resident Evil but much lighter in tone. Uh, this was a Dreamcast game I had many years ago when I had my first Dreamcast which was still after the system had died even though it didn't last that long so I guess that's sorta of to be expected <clears throat> and I used to play it but I never beat it so when I eventually repurchased a Dreamcast years later and started picking and choosing what I wanted I was much more selective and I knew I had to have Blue Stinger. Well, I had time the other day and I popped in the game. I had, um, I'm trying to think why. I think my, my parents were watching my son for a little while. I had like an extra hour. So I popped in the game and it wouldn't work. So I'm looking at the disc. The disc has one little tiny scratch. I'm like, oh, it looks fine. Trying it again. I pull out another Dreamcast. I have three Dreamcasts. I pop it in that. Same issue. Finally, I use my method I use to clean scratches, turtle wax. I wax it, I let it haze up, I wipe it down, put it back in, it reads it. Excuse me, it reads it. Great, but now I have to go because I've spent an hour almost doing this. Shut it off. Come back next week, which is this week, this week that just passed. Pop it back in, not working again. So I looked up online and sadly, the first runs of Blue Stinger and Sonic Adventure had some kind of manufacturing issue where there was some kind of layer of protection that either that was there or wasn't there. I don't remember the story. And it messed up from the Dreamcast reading it after a certain period of time. So I pretty much have a coaster with an original manual and, you know, artwork. I looked up the game. I'm like, you know what? The game used to be like 10 bucks. What is it now? 20 It's like a $50 game now. So even though I go to buy the disc, the disc is like 30, 40 bucks just to replace the disc so I can play this damn game. Very annoying. So um, I know it's not disc rot. All my discs look fine that I've looked at. Uh, this one looks perfect, like I said, besides one little scratch. It just stinks that there was a manufacturing error on the one I had. So there's my little story. I finally had to make, got to make time, and I was not able to play a game that I really love on the Dreamcast. I was hoping to make headway and beat it, you know, get further along every time I played it, but it was not to be. Um, so instead I started Blasphemous on the Xbox One. Anyway, let me know guys if you've played Blue Stinger, and if you come across a loose copy in nice shape, hit me up and maybe we can work something out. Thanks guys for watching, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.